This is a short introduction to Historionics, who are very proud to be a sponsor of the Pest Odyssey 2021, the Next Generation Conference. For those of you who are not aware of the company, Historionics was founded probably some 25 years ago by Bob Child, former head of the conservation at the National Museum and Galleries of Wales, based in Cardiff, and who very sadly passed away at the end of 2019. I took on Historionics at the end of 2019, beginning of 2020, and merged it with my existing uh, business, which is called Centimol Limited, which I started in 2011. Centimol is a company which specializes in essentially pheromones, traps, and integrated pest management solutions for a wide variety of applications. We supply a range of integrated pest management tools, not just for the heritage sector, but we cover horticulture, forestry, home and garden, uh, animal health, and the general pest control market, not just for insects, but also birds as well. Historionics has always been in Wales, originally in Cardiff, but is now uh, located to our office in Monmouth, which is sitting uh, on the English-Wales border, on the Welsh side, uh, about two hours drive from the west of London. Historionics has a wide and varied clientele, not just museums and cultural institutions, but we also serve the public uh, with solutions to manage their pest control problems at home. And so we've built up a range of different products and solutions to try and match those individual uh, needs of the different clients that we have. But of course, whether we're looking at horticulture or pest control or the heritage sector, integrated pest management is very much at the core of what we do. One of the most popular products that we have is, of course, Constrain, which is a water-based residual insecticide developed specifically for the heritage sector. It uh, is based on cyclomethrin and can either be used as a direct spray to kill uh, insects that uh, are visible or can be deposited as a residual treatment to protect fibres and surfaces that are prone to insect attack. It comes either as a 1 litre trigger spray or a 5 litre refill. In addition to residual treatments, we also have space treatments in the form of self-contained delivery systems, either total release aerosols, smoke generators, or water activated fumigators. Beyond the insecticides, of course, we have a range of trapping solutions using wet glue, dry glue, with pheromone, without pheromone, for detecting and monitoring insect pests in whichever environment you're working. And in addition to the trapping solutions, of course, we have a wide range of pheromones and general attractants to monitor either for specific species or for groups of insects and we source these from well-known and trusted suppliers in the marketplace including of course Insects Limited who are one of our co-sponsors here at uh, Pest Odyssey 2021. One of the initiatives that I've been trying to introduce since taking on Historionics is looking at the option of biological or natural control products to combat insect pests. And so I'd like to finish now by very quickly just running through some of the options that we now present as part of the Historionics portfolio. We now offer three natural insecticide products in the form of diatomaceous earth, which can dehydrate and kill insects by physical means. We have a 200 gram uh, puffer bag, a 500 ml aerosol and a one litre trigger spray. We also now offer the Insect Track CL tabs, which are designed for the management of webbing clothes moth. Male moths are attracted to the wax tablet where they pick up powder onto their wings and antennae, and the close proximity of the pheromone makes it very difficult for them to find females, and therefore you can disrupt the mating. And in addition, we have a biological control organism in the form of Trichogramma evanescence, which is a parasitoid wasp whose own biology means it lays its egg in the eggs of moths, in this case Tineola and Tinea clothes moth, and uh, in so doing it stops those eggs from hatching and therefore can break the life cycle of a clothes moth infestation. And here we have on the bottom left the wasp dispenser card with some of the 2400 individuals which you can't see with the naked eye but uh, we've also got them in close up in the centre, a couple of individuals who are just getting themselves ready to go off and look for new hosts. That concludes our very quick tour through Historionics, where we are and some of the products that we can offer. Do please stop by our virtual exhibition booth. Thank you very much for your time this afternoon and do hope you enjoy the rest of the conference. Thank you.